Vitamin B6, did it impact NAD? In an earlier video, we saw that tryptophan is converted by the de novo NAD synthesis pathway, as shown here, into NAD. But an age-related decline for vitamin B6, otherwise known as paradoxal 5-phosphate, or PLP, may limit conversion of tryptophan into NAD. So with that in mind, if I increase vitamin B6 intake, will intracellular levels of NAD correspondingly increase? So with that in mind for NAD test number four on April 24th, I sent blood samples to Genfinity, and there we can see that my NAD levels were 30.1 micromolar. Now, to put that into context, for Genfinity's ranges, we can see that that would qualify me as suboptimal. But that doesn't answer the question of whether B6 made an impact. Moreover, it doesn't address whether NAD of an NAD of 30.1 micromolar is progress or just normal variation. So to address that, let's take a look at how 30 micromolar compares with the data for tests one, to th one, two, and three. So for test number one on January 23rd, my intracellular level of NAD was 25.6 micromolar. And note that I wasn't taking NR or NMN, but because I track my diet every day with weighing all of my food, I know my average B6 intake for the 30 day period prior to this test was 3.2 milligrams of B6 per day. And similarly, my average niacin intake for the 30 day period prior to this test was 42 milligrams per day. Now note that both of these are at least two times higher than the RDA, so I was surprised to see that my NAD levels were relatively low. So after getting these test results, about a week later, I started supplementing with NMN. So for the 21 day period prior to test number two, I averaged 300 milligrams of NMN per day, but still, no impact on my NAD level. So I think it's fair to say that somewhere around the 25 micromolar range, even with 300 milligrams of NMN, is my baseline level of intracellular NAD. And note that B6 and niacin were similar to the first test, 3.2 milligrams per day and 41.7 milligrams per day for the 21 day period prior to test number two. So after getting the results for test number two, about a week later, I started supplementing with an even higher dose of NMN. 1,000 milligrams per day or one gram per day for the seven day period that preceded test number three on March 6th. And there I finally saw progress with an intracellular NAD level of 39.3 micromolar. Note this effect was probably specific to NMN because my B6 intake was the same as it was for the other test and niacin was in the same ballpark too, 41 and a half milligrams per day. So for test number four, I removed NMN to do the B6 experiment and we can see that my average B6 intake for the 49 day period from test number three to the day before test number four was about three to four, four fold higher. So from 3.2 milligrams per day average to 11.3 milligrams per day average for vitamin B6. More specifically for the 14 day period before the test, I increased it even a little bit further. So it's about five fold higher as you can see there, 15.6 average B6 intake before test number four. And with these data in mind, Note that niacin was still in the ballpark, and I saw that 30.1 micromolar level for intracellular levels of NAD. So when considering that my baseline NAD was, is about 25 micromolar, 30 is progress. So I think it's fair to say, even though it's just one test, that there was some small increase for NAD with vitamin B6 supplementation. Now, if this is a real effect, if I go higher, I'd expect to see a further increase for NAD. So that's the plan for test number five coming up relatively soon. Will going higher for vitamin B6 more than 30 milligrams per day, so I'm gonna double it above my current intake, which would be 10 times higher than, than where I was for test number three, will that further increase NAD? So stay tuned for that video at some point in the future. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for NAD quantification, green tea, epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, at home blood testing, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.